Hey everybody and welcome to Crazy Tech Lab and also to those of us joining from Forbes and today I'm going to be looking at probably one of the most anticipated products to be launched in 2018. It is of course AMD's Ryzen second generation processor. So there's going to be a whole bunch of uh, processors released in 2018 from AMD and of course from Intel as well later on. Uh, but today I can finally reveal uh, which CPUs are going to be launched, how much they're going to cost, what their specifications are and as you can see here I've actually got the uh, the official press pack from AMD and uh, so we can actually have a look at what's included inside the box and also take a look at some new X470 chipset motherboards from MSI, Asus and Gigabyte. So without further ado let's uh, take a look at the box. So um, AMD's sent two CPUs to pretty much uh, you know every major journalist out there at the moment and um, the CPUs that everybody will be talking about are the Ryzen 5 2600X, it exists, it's here, it's been confirmed, <laughs> and also the Ryzen 7 2700X which is the 8 core um, and essentially a replacement for the Ryzen 7 1700X and Ryzen 7 1800X. So AMD has confirmed to me that it will not be releasing, at least in the foreseeable future, a direct replacement for the 1800X. So there's not going to be a Ryzen, a Ryzen 7 uh, 2800X. Uh, so whether AMD has, you know, sort of some sort of special plan for that, um, you know, it could be some kind of crazy way of fitting eight, you know, ten cores onto a, a, a Ryzen die. I think that's possibly unlikely, or maybe even impossible. But I'm kind of interested to see what what's actually going on there. But um, We'll have to wait and see on that one. So for now, the fastest Ryzen CPU you will see is the Ryzen 7 uh, 2700X. That's mainstream Ryzen, of course, not high-end desktop, because we've got Threadripper, of course, and Threadripper second generation is coming out later this year too. So exciting times. And um, so the two CPUs here today are two of four CPUs that AMD is actually offering up for pre-order today. Uh, the other two is the, are the Ryzen 7 2700, which as uh, if you're an AMD fan or know your hardware, is basically a direct replacement for the Ryzen 7 1700, which was one of my favorite CPUs because you can actually overclock it to you know the same speed as a Ryzen 7 1700X or 1800X, but it costs a lot less, which is what overclockers love, of course. So the other CPU is the non-X edition of this one here. So it's the Ryzen 5 2600X, sorry, 2600. And uh, like the 2600X and uh, of course the, you know, the Ryzen 5 six cores, it has six core, uh, six cores are on the uh, on the die and also 12 threads 19 megabytes uh, total cache and um, so it's great to see that AMD is you know offering um, upgrades or you know sort of uh, new products for its six core ranges which are kind of the sweet spot I think um, certainly for me you know the Ryzen 5 1600 is going for crazy low prices at the moment uh, I think in the UK it's about 140 pounds probably not much more than that in dollars and that that is an absolute steal for what that CPU is you know you get six cores 12 threads um, and it just wipes the floor with anything you know previous generation um, in um, in multi-threaded tasks so let's talk about specs and prices then for all of the CPUs I'll just switch to the uh, second gen um, launch uh, launch page and as you can see the Ryzen 7, 7 2700X will retail for $329, $329 and it's available for pre-order today. Um, that in my mind is is relatively keenly priced. Uh, I mean we're looking at something that's a little bit more expensive than you can get you know the 1700X, 1800X at the moment. Um, and um, of course what AMD has got to be wary of is that it has really cut prices with its previous gen stuff. So what we're hoping for here is a sizable increase in performance and from what I've seen so far Ryzen second generation CPUs will offer you know, fairly substantial gains across the board in games, multi-threaded applications and, uh, and, and those kind of things. And that's down to you know, higher frequencies. Uh, we've got 4.3 gigahertz maximum boost frequency on the 2700X. And as you'll be learning uh, next week in my full Ryzen coverage of Ryzen second generation, um, so be sure be sure to uh, uh, subscribe to me here on YouTube or follow my articles over on Forbes or uh, Twitter or Facebook wherever you, wherever you reside. Um, but the boosting technology has really really improved with the second generation Ryzen. Um, so instead of you know XFR for example boosting across a couple of cores, it now does 
across you know, basically an infinite number of cores and threads. So whereas XFR, uh, the XFR boost was essentially a single, a single core, you know, maybe two threads or you know, a couple of cores if you, if you take into account Threadripper. Um, basically what's happening now is that it will do that, but across all cores, if, you know, things like the thermal limits, you've got enough cooling and the power can, uh, you know, the power's being dealt with by the motherboard, properly, that kind of thing, it will actually boost that XFR speed across all cores. So that is really, really interesting. And it should um, definitely give a boost to, uh, you know, the gaming performance and also to multi-threaded performance in particular. So all of the uh, the CPUs um, should offer um, XF XFR. Um, so it's uh, just a question of waiting and seeing uh, what the actual benchmarks show. Of course, any benchmarks that are out there right now have been done with very early drivers, very early motherboard uh, BIOSes, so I'd take them with a pinch of salt. So um, next up is the Ryzen 5 2600X, and that goes uh, that is going for $229. Uh, that again is reasonably competitive, uh, but again, you know, you're looking at sort of a fairly substantial price hike over the previous gen stuff. Um, six cores, 12 threads, 90 megabytes total cache, um, and that can boost up to 4.2 gigahertz, um, you know, with uh, with XFR2. Um, Ryzen 7, getting back to Ryzen 7, 2700, that's the non-X edition, so the frequency is a fair bit lower. You've got a 3.2 gigahertz base clock uh, with a 4.1 gigahertz boost, but still a potentially uh, great CPU. And uh, finally, the Ryzen 5 2600, the, no the non-X edition uh, version of the 2600X, of course, lower frequencies again with a retail price um, of $199, that's $100 cheaper than the Ryzen 7 2700. So you basically have to pay and spend another $100 to get another two cores and four threads. So that's about it on the pricing. So let's get back to the unboxing, here we are. And uh, as you can see, um, I've got the two CPUs here, it's a Ryzen 7, uh, 7 uh, 2700X and the Ryzen 5 2600X. Um, I am just going to uh, pause the video because I actually need to grab a knife or some scissors to undo the sticky, uh, the sticky label on the top because I literally haven't even opened these yet. So uh, I will be back in just a moment. Okay, so we're back again. I've done some reorganizing on the desk and more importantly, we have uh, two open CPU boxes, which uh, obviously makes it a lot easier if you're trying to get inside them, which I am. And uh, so we'll start off with the 2700X and uh, you may have noticed that there's a shiny new picture of a heatsink. Um, specifically with lighting on the side, and this is the new Wraith Prism Cooler. So it comes with the uh, the 2700X, and uh, basically what you're looking at is an RGB version of the, uh, the the other Wraith coolers that come with AMD's other CPUs. So the Ryzen 5 2600X um, there only comes with you know sort of a similar cooler to this, the Wraith cooler, but without the RGB lighting. And uh, as you can see in this video it does look pretty cool. So you've got, you know, this ring um, around the top that sort of illuminates the, uh, the clear uh, sort of frosted acrylic, acrylic blades in the, uh, in the cooler and you've got connectors on the side of the cooler, um, which I think you can see here. And it comes with cables in the box as well, allowing you to connect it to your motherboard. And uh, that's uh, it's a pretty cool addition. I kind of like uh, the fact that AMD's, you know, offering something unique especially with its flagship CPU. And people, you know, plenty of people do use this. They haven't done it just, you know, just for something to do. They've actually done it following feedback from system builders and, and enthusiasts. But the Wraith, the, the Wraith coolers were a bit bland, so they've added some RGB bling to, um, to the, Wraith, the Wraith cooler. And uh, it does look pretty cool. And to be honest, a lot of people don't need, you know, crazy liquid cooling or high-end air cooling with their Ryzen CPUs. They're plenty efficient enough so you can actually just use a cooler like this um, if you're planning to run them at stock speed and not overclock to crazy high frequencies, that kind of thing. So that's the Wraith Prism. I shall leave him over there. And uh, onto the main event, which is of course looking at the actual CPU. Um, as the Ryzen 5 2600X is, looks exact, identical to this, I won't be unboxing that, you can see it's, it's there. Um, and. Uh, Believe me when I say that AMD hasn't just sent me a box. I wish they had because then I wouldn't have to test it. <laughs> but there's a whole bunch of testing to do uh, over the next week or so. And uh, here we are. So not a lot to show because it is obviously identical um, apart from the text on the top saying uh, 2700X. It is identical to the previous generation CPUs. 
for the simple reason that it is backwards compatible with previous generation uh, chipsets. So B350, X370 motherboards, they will all be able to run this CPU, albeit you'll probably need a BIOS update, so you'll need to check that first um, with your motherboard manufacturer, whether you need to update your current motherboard or, or if you're after a cheaper um, you know, X370 board to run your Ryzen CPU, you'll need to make sure that it's updated as well. Now the new motherboards, they do come with a whole bunch of extra features, most notably, you know, improved power uh, delivery to the CPU. Um, that's, you know, to deal with, you know, to provide, you know, sort of slightly higher power, because um, the, new, 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 the new CPUs do have slightly higher power consumption uh, and TDP figures. Um, but, you know, the whole thing is backwards and forwards compatible, um, even though they've done that. So you can run these CPUs in old motherboards, and you can also run the old um, old CPUs in new motherboards. I'm not entirely sure why you'd want to do that. Maybe, maybe you've already got a Ryzen 7 1800X and you want to use it in one of the new X470 motherboards because they do look pretty cool. Um, but that's about it, really. So I've unboxed uh, pretty much everything here. And uh, what I want to do next is in a, in a separate video, because this one's going on uh, quite a bit already, is to have a look at the motherboards, which are all in this box here. And I've got motherboards from Asus, Gigabyte and MSI, and uh, we'll look at those, as I say, in a separate video in a minute. I'd like to thank AMD for sending me this press kit. Um, it's going to be very useful for testing and showing everybody uh, just how fast these CPUs are compared to the competition. And you can see all the, all the CPUs, or at least the four that are being launched today, they are, are of course on pre-order, and you can see the pre-order links uh, below. So, uh, or at least I hope you can, uh, because the, I don't actually know if they're going to be on sale yet or linkable. Um, but as soon as they are available online, I'll be linking to them below. So uh, just be aware of that. And uh, again, thanks to AMD and thanks for watching.